Hi folks, Tamar Kamienkowski here, and in this screencast, we're going to be covering the letters pay or fe on the right side, then in the middle, tsadi, then kuf, and then I've got a little plus because a few additional things are coming in this screencast. So let's get started with our first letter. The first letter for this screencast is called the letter pay. Now notice that you have a certain shape to the consonant, plus there is a dagesh or a dot in that letter. So this letter makes the P sound p, p as in possibilities, but only when the dagesh, when that dot is in there. So this is the letter p, p, p possibilities. Now we have the same letter, but without the dagesh in it, and then it's called a fe, and that's because it makes an F sound, as in the word f, f forward. Again, this letter will only make the f sound when there is no dagesh or dot in it. So we have pe and fe, just as we had bet and vet, or kaf and chaf. All right, moving on to our next letter. So this is a tsadi, and it makes a TS sound, as in all bets are off. Tss, tss. I think it may have been the sound my grandmother made when she was a bit bothered with me. Tss, tss. All right. And then the final new letter is the letter kuf. And it makes a K sound, k -k, as in the word kosher. And yes, there are two, I misspelled that, should read T-W-O. There are two K sounding letters, the kaf, which is the backward C, and this letter, the kuf. Yes, it is a little annoying. Sometimes people um, remember that this one is pronounced kuf and not kaf because the kuf extends down below the line, so it's somehow longer. All right, before we practice those letters, um, I want to introduce you to a final element about the Hebrew alphabet, particularly dealing with the letters. So there are a number of letters, I think five to be exact, that take on a different form when they appear at the very end of a word. So I know, I know, just when you think you've got all the letters, actually just another three to learn, there is an additional element. The good news is it concerns only five letters and the context makes it pretty easy, uh, in my experience, for people to learn these and to retain this information. So let's look at our first one. We have learned the regular kaf or chaf. Right now I'm dealing with those two as if they're one letter, because whether or not the dagesh is in there does not matter for this purpose. And then you can see that right next to regular, we have another column that call, that's called sofit. So the Hebrew word sof, means end. So feet are the letters in their ending form. So if you have a kaf or a chaf, and it appears as the last letter in a word, instead of looking like the backward C, it's going to look like this with a slightly different form here, which goes down below the line. Next, the letter mem that we have already learned, well, when mem appears as the last letter in a word, then it takes on a unique form that you can see here. You want to make sure not to confuse the mem sofit with the letter samech. They look quite similar, except the samech has more rounded corners, so it looks a little more circular. Then we have the letter nun that we've learned. Well, when nun comes at the end of a word, it's the nun sofit. You can see almost looks like a vav that has been extended down below the line. You can see how it goes down below the regular nun. All right, only two more to go. 
So in this screencast, we have learned pay or fay. And when it appears at the end of the word, we have a pay or a fay sofit. Uh, again, the pay sofit can also take a dagesh to tell you whether, whether it's a pay sofit or a fay sofit. And you can see that this symbol also goes down below the line. And then the very final one, we have learned that sadi today, tsitsa. Well, when this appears at the very end of a word, it almost looks like a Y, again, extending below the line. So this is a tsadi sofit. So we've introduced uh, a few new letters and uh, the five sofits. So we're gonna have a few extra exercises. As usual, if you wanna pause and, uh, and see how much of this you can work through, you may do that now. But otherwise, I'm going to start reading through. So in our first line, we have our pays. So we begin with pa, po, pay, pa. In our next line, fe, fi, fa, fu. Our third line, working with the tsadis, tse, tsu, tsa, and tso. And the final line here, working with our new kuf, k, ka, ki, and ko. Let's try out a few other things. Now we're going to focus on the sofit letters. So in this first line, uh, every uh, every one of these syllables begins with the dalid and, and the a ah sound, the kamats, da. So our first word, uh, actually these are not all words, this first one does happen to be a word which means blood. So the first here is dam. Our next one has a nun sofit, so we're going to have dan. Our third one is a tsadi sofit, so dats. The next is a chaf sofit, so dach. And then finally, a fe sofit, daf. Moving on to the next line. Now we are mixing up some of the letters a little bit more. So reading across from right to left. Ein, eich, lots, laf, and lam. And then the final line, they all begin with our kuf and ko. So, kom, kon, kof, and coats. And one more. Again, mixing things up just a little bit more. So, the first line, pach. Pom, pain, path. Second line with our phase. Fen, feats, faf, and fum. Third line with our tzadis. Sets, tsun. Tsats, tsof, and the final line with our kufs, came, kaf, keen, and coats. All right, if you are already enrolled in the course, you've got a number of exercising exercises coming up in the course to uh, help you reinforce the learning in the screencast. 
if you are not enrolled in a course and you are interested in exercises, feel free to, uh, to enroll in this course. It is absolutely free. All right. Have a, have a good time learning.